you know what this is? I'm going to show you today how to use this properly. I'm also going to show you how to put a hole in a tile without smashing it into tiny little pieces and needing your whole bathroom retiled. Most drills these days have lots of different functions, but the main things you need to do is drill a hole, screw in a screw and make a hole in a wall. So on most drills these days, it has a screw for screwing in screws, a drill for drilling in holes and a hammer. Now the hammer action one is actually for drilling into hard surfaces like walls, concrete, bricks. This is for making holes in wood, MDF, whatever else you can find that you need to drill a hole. And that's for screwing in the screw after you've done. The tools that you're gonna to need today are here. Um, you need a ruler, you need two drill bits, which I will show you about when we're at the place, a pencil obviously, and what you're going to fix. I'm going to fix a towel rail today because we don't have one. My kids pulled it off the wall and now I'm going to put it back up again. Actual most important part of drilling into a tile is masking tape. I know it sounds ridiculous, but what I'm going to do basically is tape across the tile to spread the surface area so when you go to make a hole in the shiny surfaces, it doesn't go and then you need to tile everything. The towel basically A stops your tools banging off the surface that you're already on. So if you put a screw down or your hammer, it doesn't crack the tile you're kneeling on. Also, it's quite nice for your knees. What we're going to do now is find the center of the tile. Now I'm using a bendy ruler so it fits into my toolbox, but you can use any old ruler. And there we go. Now I've got the center. I'm going to put one more piece of tape across because I actually like drilling through two pieces. It doesn't really matter what, basically go and find what it is you want to put in and they are generally exactly the same way fitted. So this is the bracket, that's it fixed to the wall. It goes in like this and into there, right? So now we have to do is find out where this gets screwed into the wall. But what you see I've got here is the centre is in the middle of the bracket. These are drill bits. This one is actually for wood. I use it because it has a point at the top and ow, oh, yes, it's sharp. You want a sharp one, so buy yourself, treat yourself to a new drill bit. And this is a masonry bit, which is for bricks and concrete. So, and it's not so sharp. And I'm gonna use this one to make the first guide hole in the ceramic so that it doesn't hopefully crack. And then this one will puncture through the rest of it. On here, you'll see I've put the drill bit in and it's on to drill, as in make a hole as opposed to screw in a screw. Now, it's a quite a laborious task getting through it, so be gentle and don't be scared. But what you'll do is hear a small crack when you get through the ceramic. And don't be worrying, it's all going to be fine. Now, this is the masonry bit. So this is the bit that once you've cracked through your ceramic, this is what's going to make your hole. So now you have somewhere to see, it doesn't slip anymore, it's got somewhere to sit. There we go. Right, there's your hole. When I've done the other one, I'll peel it off and I'll show you how beautiful it looks. See? No cracks. Perfect. The supplier supplied two plugs. Now, I'm gonna fit the bracket to the wall. This is your screw bit. It's to fit into your screw like this. When you buy it, buy a magnetic one because get this. When you're holding up your bracket, who needs three hands when you have a magnet? It's excellent. Okay, you don't go the whole way in because you need to be able to wiggle it around while you get the other one in first. I'm not driving it in as it were, as in the word screwdriver, because I want to make sure that I don't slip. If you slip, the tip of that will crack the tile and after all that effort, we don't want it to break just because of that. So an Allen key, is the secret way of going, how does that stay up on the wall? Voila! One hung towel, no cracked towel. I shall go get a towel now to make sure it works. Let's just see how this lasts. <laughs> and there you go. Fabulous. I'm a fabulous woman with a fabulous towel. <laughs>